DJ Cascade and love won't let her be. I believe he did the other one too uh, with, with Dead Mouth. Uh, I remember. I re had a lot of hits in the EDM world. Yep, I was there, folks. Yes, yes, this brother was in it before all the rest of the brothers was in it. I'm one of, you, you can catch me in the Sunset Music Festival and EDC. I was, you know, one of the few brothers in there. And I remember Cascade. He is getting a divorce from his wife of 28 years. 28 years. Lord, have mercy on me. Help me understand this. Let's read into it. Naomi ran and filed for a divorce on October 17th after 27 years and 10 months of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. Ah. Uh, great divorce continues to expand. Man, nobody's safe from. <laughs> Didn't I say that? Nobody is safe from. They got kids. And document filed. Oh, Los Angeles. Still cascade. You done. I mean, it's it's over. That's Naomi. It's it's done. All right. In a document filed in Los Angeles County on Thursday, reviewed by people, Naomi Radden requested dissolution of marriage from DJ Cascade, whose real name is Ryan Gary Radden. All right. The former couple's date of marriage is uh, 1996, with the separation date listed 2024, June 27th, told 27 years and 20, 10 months. Cascade is a big DJ, guys. 53 year old. They're both share one child. Isla ran uh, rad, a fourteen year old. Okay, them is requesting joint legal and physical custody of their daughter. She's also asking court to hold Ryan responsible for spousal support. We know the routine, right? We know it. We know the routine. So it's become an American freaking enclave. Petitioner will list and itemize any and all separate assets and obligations as when the same are fully ascertained. All right. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Look at this song. It's a real, it's a nice driving song, brothers. I mean, if you're if you out there, sis, if you out there and like in the mountains or something, like Utah, some something, something crazy, like California late at night, it's a good driving song, especially if you got a little sports car. It's a nice song. I remember. All right. Who happens to be a helicopter pilot? She's a helicopter pilot. Three mutual friends at a show in Provo, Utah. Oh, they were in Utah. Figures. They were in Utah. All right. Uh, honestly, my story begins there. He told me out of his very first gig as a DJ in a downtown venue called Club Manhattan. All right. I made like 300, 300 or something. I was like, they pay me to play records. This is insane. All right. DJ Cascade's reporting range is one of the highest paid DJ. Oh, no. It's worth $60 million, 2023. All right. Well, there goes that. Half gone California spousal support. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Not in a good way. Don't like these, man. Don't like these. 27 years, Naomi. I'm, wow. Why, baby? Why? 27 years. But you live your life, right? She made her decision. Um, Crazy. And they got a teenage daughters. You have four years left. Actually, the wrong time to do that. Uh, I would have waited. I would have waited. I'm not going to lie to you. For the kids, I would have waited for 18. But if it's going to get violent, it's going to get violent. What about the other one? How about you want to do Cardi B? Uh, all right. You want to check that out? Do you want to do, uh, well, what's his name? What's her name? You want to do, uh, Cardi B was the other one, right? Cardi B and, and Offset. This is just, this is just pure ghetto bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. I love y'all, but I mean, I mean, shit. Straight. <sighs> the cheating accusations on this one is, is just crazy. But Offset knew what he married, okay? He did. He knew what he married. Uh huh. You know. All right. She calls. So so what? What the funny was they were going back and forth. Now there's a lot of alleged cheating on both sides, and a woman are defending Cardi B. Of course, they're saying, Ah, well, he cheated first, or whatever. Whatever. Two wrongs don't make a right. You know that. Two wrongs don't make it right. But I want to say this. Remember, Cardi B has more money. <laughs> Cardi B apparently has more money. Do you see her tone now? Because she was talking a lot, a lot of trash. You go on Twitter, you know. <sighs> let me let me just do this. Cardi B cheating, and then you can see what I'm saying. This is an interesting story, okay? Cardi B cheating. Von Star was accused of cheating just earlier this month. 
All right? On, on her live that she fucked with a baby inside. Okay? She talked to other men. She's from an industry. She's a former stripper. I believe she has the ability and mindset more so than the regular woman to just dump and drive drive forward. What I mean is they they come into contact with a lot of men and no offense, I don't know too many strippers that love a man that much. All right? They see too many of them. So they're replaceable. And uh, he had the status and fame. So, you know, offset married, it don't, no matter what you said, again, that doesn't make her bad, but offset married a stripper. She was a former stripper, known for robberies. She's a hood girl who's very famous now, right? The world loves you. Once you have money, same thing, same effect. Don't matter what you have done. If you didn't get caught and you're famous, a lot of people just go, the ethics are low. And that goes for you. You'd be surprised at people that just go, oh, she's just a rapper because they don't know her background. And that's fine. I'm I'm from the area. I know her. I know her background. I may know anyway. Um, she is, you know, she's a she's a she's a hood she's a hoodie, a little hood chick, right? And uh, she got very famous, and now you know she's probably I don't know like like Rihanna and the ones before her, probably near billionaire status. I'm lying there. She's probably a hundred million, but you know where it goes. These girls are getting rich, right, off of men. Um, so, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that the Offset made a dangerous proposal. He's also a dangerous guy himself, right? So, you know, the two united. It looked like they were a perfect Hollywood couple. But as we all know, pictures are not worth a thousand words anymore. <laughs> pictures don't tell the story of relationships. Matter of fact, the more pictures, the more dangerous. He was accused of cheating. She was accused of cheating. And now... Because of the money, I believe she's saying we need a healthy co-parenting relationship with her. You know, see, she she realizes that she talked to her lawyers. Be careful. You talk too much, he divorces you. You gonna be paying him for child support. All right. Cost, Cardi B wants peace with Offset amid divorce. I don't want to have beef with anybody that I love. Okay. This, by the way, a couple of days ago, go look at her comments. It was on and off, but we're emotional as people. Women are a little bit more emotional, so they go up and down, ups and downs, ups and downs. So one day they love you, one day she had Cardi B quits alcohol. Okay, look at all this. <laughs> look at all these stories. Okay. She's the alcoholic as well. All right. She's a fine, she's a fine looking Dominicana, though. You gotta be honest, man. Oh, they welcome another baby. All right. Three kids. Well, at least this I tell you what. Even with all her past, luckily she has one baby father. I'll take that. I give her. I give her kudos for that. One baby father, Cardi. Got get a drunk drinking. No, looks like you do. It looks like you do. Let's be honest. Just looking at her face, tears. She looks like she does a little bit of drinking. Okay, she actually talks a little bit of slur. I'm gonna let it go here on that one, right? On that one, we let it go. What what else do we got? All right, what else is a nasty story? This is for a little different case here. I want, I want to go back to the drones and tell you how nasty it is. Um, any more relationships that we need to talk about today? Because it just keeps going. <sighs> oh, Lord. Martha. Martha. Ladies, there was a time that just keep stuff to yourself. Why? Why? Why are we ladies? Ladies, 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 be more demure. I've said that several times. Stop. <sighs> then they say, why don't men want to come up to us? Come on, Martha. Let's read this. Martha Stewart claims it was very easy to keep her decades-long affair secret during her marriage. Is, is there any marriage that made it? Ah. <sighs> Oh, she's 81. She doesn't care. She wants attention. I got it. She had a decade long. She you have to be you have to be circumspect. The 83 year old told businessman Lee. She's 83. They're joking about it. Earlier this month, in a trailer of her new Stewart Miss, she had an affair while married to her only husband, Andrew Stewart. Their marriage lasted from 1961 to 1990. 29 years. Young woman, listen to my advice. If you're married and your husband starts to cheat on you, he's a piece of shit. 
get out of marriage. What? Who the fuck? Aren't you cheating on him? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I got to go back and read. What is going on, man? Stuart claims it was very easy to keep for a decades long affair a secret. Did you cheat on him? How, how did this come into it's a guy's fault? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, man. When a producer asked, didn't you have an affair early on? Oh, oh, let's read it back. Okay. Young woman, listen to my advice. If you're mad, your husband starts to cheat on you. He's a piece of shit. Get out of marriage. Then the, then the guy, he's probably red pill a little bit. When a producer asks, did you have an er affair early on? She answered, yeah, but I don't think Andy ever knew about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What am I doing this morning? I'm going to sign off. What are we doing? <laughs> well, I need to laugh. What does, it mean, what does it mean to be the first female self-made billionaire in history? Stuart asked herself rhetorically at the beginning of the trailer before laughing. All right. All right, there goes, uh, yep, that's atypical. Yep, atypical, there you go. All right, Brad, Brad, listen, everyone's talking about Brad. Listen, man, Brad's have rough times too, man, all right? I, I know personally. The marriage situation is certain, in all communities, all inclusive, marriage is hard. Marriage is hard. Having kids is hard. Let's call it what it is. Yes, being single and not having any is the easy way out. The problem is you're gonna have to deal with a lot of loneliness. That's you know that's your that's your problem, and people are gonna look at you. Should we end it with Putin putting a little trailer in there? All right. So you see the propaganda we have here. You have to be circumspect in order to keep an affair quiet. <laughs> look. At so she says, leave the man if he's cheating. If she, no offense, Mar Martha has the, you know, Martha has that feel. If you get my draft, you know what I mean? Like, you could tell, you know, she has that kind of feel, you know, like, you know, let's look at, look at, look at, look at the picture. She has that kind of feel, man. And, and it's perfect. Look, you know, she made more money than him. Listen, when a woman makes more money than you, sometimes you, you open yourself up to this type of, you know, <laughs> oh my God. Perfect husband, and he was holding her hand and everything, right? Well, I guess, I guess, I guess it happens. Can we go to this eighty-three comments before we end it? Because Putin has some, but I'm not gonna go there. Let's just look at some. Yeah, what the hell? Shut your mouth, woman, lady. Shut up. Stop talking. It's ridiculous now. It's bad. Martha should have kept the decades-long affair quiet, taking the secret to the grave. Yeah, what does she have to gain? But she wanted attention. It's great she had a high ambition, but how is she not ashamed for herself? Where's the empathy for... There is none. There is no empathy for men. There is none. Sorry. Men, you have to go in knowing that. You are the provider. The relationship provides you an offspring who is, entitles you to continuing your lineage. That's all this is. All right? And in society, you know, your grandparents, your mother, your father, all that, they want to show off to their... You know, where he's married, he's happy, blah, blah, blah. This one became a doctor, a lawyer, whatever the hell it is, or a billionaire, and they get to show off. And that's really, you know, that's the point of life. I'm sorry. That's, that's really all it is. I mean, <laughs> but but it's fun along the way. What else are you going to do? All right. Anyway, <laughs> the revelation that Martha Stewart is completely lacking in characters in, in itself decades old. All right. Yo, wow. Ooh, 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 that was a that was a big punch, punch in the gut. Sees Bolsul being able to keep emo affair a secret. Great life lesson. Thanks, Martha. After smashing about smashing men. At least she is not. Oh, Biden tried to do the same. The affair with Jill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. At least she's not blaming Trump for grabbing her in a furniture store 40 years ago. Oh, Lord. That's how it is, boys. If they do it, it's okay. If we do it, we're a piece of shit. Yep, that's basically it. Who was paying the mortgage while she was started catering? Who gave her the money? They don't care, CCSS. I'm trying to help you men out and people out. And a woman as well. Nobody cares. If you help them and they make it and you don't come up with them and you're not successful, you're forgotten. Sayonara. See you later. Move on. It's a selfish society. Only I would tell you that. That's how it is. 
What have you done for me yesterday? Is the comment. And it's really today. Most women, especially those working in offices with many people, know of married women that cheat. If only men knew how these women justify it, I wouldn't even talk about a guy. We're already down the path of Armageddon and hell in the United States. Other countries do this all the time. I'm honest. All right? Europe, Latin, I'm not going to go there. South of the border, poof. Woof. South of the border. Spain, all these, this is normal. It happens. They they work around it, and no one knows. I would I would say don't talk about it. It's a shame for me to say this, you know, the man that reads a little bit of Bible, but it's true. The cheating is is rampant. People get tired. They get bored. They get they want something different. Prison tells the next chapter. Lord have mercy. She used to, she was she was in jail. Yes, when someone trusts you, it's easy to lie and be deceitful. Take an honorary bow to show the world your class. Yep, that, that's a shame. So if you have an affair and betray your vows, what does that make you? Well, sir, they don't care. Anything to sell a book. Correct. Well, that was a good move. That's true. She can still have that genius in her. I wonder who else she cheated besides her husband and her taxes. It sounds like her values are warped. Well, she's famous. So I, I just told you type A's do type A things. She's proud of her deviance. Wow. What a piece of work. A more degenerate and an ex-con. Nice. So she is banging a stoop. Thought so. And Diddy. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it was very easy because great dame dogs do not kiss and tell. Oh Lord. I'm gonna leave it at that. This was fun. She has no shame. Just ask Snoop Dogg. Math has sat on my face about 40 years ago, y'all. <laughs> Something about someone who tries to tell people how to live a deep insecurity. Uh, I certainly don't. Even at 83, she's the that's that's what it is, I think. It's an attention. Attention for the book, attention for her. Stuart, another cheater in life, disgusting human. All right, all right, whatever. She's not a piece of shit because Annie. I, I, I'm I'm going over Showtime because I'm I do the stories and it's just so rampant. So seventy percent. We talked about this before. I'm gonna end it here. Forty over the last forty years, seventy percent, sixty-seven percent of marriages end up in divorce. Let's call it seventy percent. Within those, just think about what the thirty percent are doing: staying for the kids, blah blah blah, and cheating goes around. All right, all right let's be honest. All right, I'll say maybe number 10, 15 percent are in that in that realm. So really, when you look at it, 15, uh, 82, 82 percent are marriages are false. And then probably another, you know, 18 percent that are making it probably in the countryside away from everybody. Hypocrisy is not to be admired. Snoop must have a range in her time. Was it open the open the B first? Oh, no. Come on. That's a nasty woman like Hillary. Ah, <laughs> I will leave it at that, your boy Mikey. Lord have mercy. Is there love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love, baby? Where is the love? Where is the love? You're probably not going to watch this video after that singing. I'm out of here. Peace. Wow.